let's talk about rankers and ranking videos. The topic of conversation around these kind of ranking videos and rankers in particular, this community has been here and there over the last couple of years, but uh, has really sort of sparked into the spotlight with this new invective tweet. The tweet is as follows. They say, here's a ranking channel tier list. Uh, if you don't see yourself or your profile picture on here and your ranking channel, you can put yourself below F. And it's uh, nothing an S, nothing an A, B, C, D, or even F, and then all says delete your channel, and it's all the ranking videos, and then uh, Paul McRidham underneath. So I guess Paul got his own category, but um, yeah. So uh, that was that was a tweet that happened. But for those of you that don't really know what a ranking video is or what a ranker is, let me give you a quick rundown. Rankers are a community of people that really just rank songs, whether it's an album, compilation, EP, a month, anything they really want to talk about. The format is often 10 to 15 seconds of a song while using kind of text to share their thoughts on what they feel about said song. Sometimes there are groups of opinions and ranked on an average of scores, but more often than not are just a singular voice. So if you didn't realize those examples that I actually just used for visual clarity are my own videos from the past. I used to do these purely kind of ranking videos and uh, I don't anymore, but we'll get to that sort of at the end. We're not really talking about me here, I would say. But back to that tweet, there are definitely a vocal group of people that, uh, <laughs> that think that these styles of videos are dumb and just shouldn't exist. And this tweet really brought those conversations out to light and everyone's sort of talking about and giving their opinion on ranking videos. Two quick caveats, uh, these ranking communities are most often surrounded by the monster cat community as a label, I would say as a whole. There is more that branched out to more EDM, and but it mainly kind of comes back to monster cat. And uh, especially it doesn't really go outside of the EDM community I have found at least. Also, I know that there are some channels, a very, very small minority out there that are hateful towards artists and hateful in what they say in these ranking videos. We, we are not talking about those kind of people. People in the comments, and when they're saying, telling an artist to die or practically yelling at them in the text, that, that's not okay. That's that's not what we're talking about. That is a, a, a very small minority and we're just talking about the normal ranking style videos. So let's talk about the kind of three big topics or conversation points that I think, I believe to be the biggest tension around why these videos and channels should or shouldn't exist. Number one, the topic of, well, opinions. That's the whole point of these videos is their opinions. And uh, a lot of people I'm hearing saying that are kind of anti-ranking would say, um, no one wants to hear your opinion. No one wants to hear their opinions. Well, my response to that is great. Don't listen to them. These ranking videos are very clearly subjective and boiled down to the opinion of generally one person. If you don't want to hear their opinions, then don't. It's honestly just as simple as that. I find I too often see people kind of going back and forth from saying that a ranking video hurts an artist to no one cares about what you say, which are both sort of opposing and contradictory thoughts. Tackling the first part of that comment where people say that it kind of hurts an artist sometimes. I think actually uh, Logic recently, the rapper had a big topic conversation around this as well, uh, talking about specifically and with uh, Anthony Fantano, uh, the needle drop, who's probably the most prolific online reviewer of, of albums of anything on of music in the internet sphere. Logic used to pretty much idolize Anthony and everything that he would say and took everything to heart and absolutely loved it. And then we started making his own music and Anthony would give him lower scores. It kind of demoralized him. And then the two of them sort of became friends over a little bit and Anthony straight up told Logic in person, don't care about what I say. It doesn't matter what I say. I'm just one opinion. And that kind of shook Logic in two ways of one being like, wow, damn, you're kind of right. You are just one person. But also like Anthony has a giant following of people that really do cling on to what he says. So if Anthony says an album is bad, they it can change their opinion and they might think it's bad too. That being said, I don't think anyone in the ranking community is sort of big enough to alter the opinions of the masses to hate or love something that they do individually. But I don't want to diminish the fact that yes, these kind of ranking videos can get to the psyche of an artist. I'll touch more on this topic in a little bit, but yeah, like it does suck. If you are an artist and you release a brand new track that you're really proud of and you go watch these ranking videos and everyone has this last, second last, third last, and they're all saying it's not their favorite thing and they don't think it's a great track because of this, 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 that, that does hurt the mental. And to the second point that I think a lot of people say, a lot of the non-rankers say towards rankers is that no one cares what you think. Well, actually the people that want to care will care. Here's a great example. You watching this video, you saw the thumbnail, you saw the title, you saw it was me and you chose to watch this video at least this far in because in some at least minor capacity, you care about what I think. And you know, I'm very grateful for that. 
But there are also a bunch of people that saw this video and didn't click on it because either they just don't care about any of this at all or specifically didn't want to watch because they didn't care what I had to say about that. And that's fine too. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion and are entitled to listen to whatever of those opinions they want to hear. So when I hear people tell rankers that their opinion doesn't matter, no one wants to hear your opinion, that just feels like a straw man argument. Which takes me to kind of point topic 1.5. Uh, Bowtide ranks. My current content of what I do can sort of be seen as ranking. My weekly This Week in EDM series is an ordered list of songs from worst to best with my own opinion on each of them just told in a actual talking sense rather than it being text and me not showing the song or hearing the song. It's just me giving an ordered ranked list. Tier list videos are also essentially rankings just showed in a different context. I feel like there's this wall for people that specifically when it comes to the regular format of ranking videos of the text and the song underneath that gives them a sort of sense of immediate thought of dislike or like towards what they're about to watch. So if you watching right now fall into the category of someone that says that you like this channel and you like watching maybe the speaker EDM or my tier lists, but also say that you really hate ranking videos or dislike ranking videos, I would just maybe take a step back and think about what exactly it is that you don't like about those ranking videos. Because I don't actually believe it's the ranking part. And big topic of conversation number two is the lazy reviews slash disrespecting artists. Another big kind of key cornerstone point of the conversation here is that uh, people have big issue with ranking videos because they sometimes give lazy reviews or explanations on why they didn't like a said song. And you know what? That's totally true. Some of these reviews, some of these explanations are pretty quote unquote lazy. Some of the stuff I talk about on this channel, I give very lazy or lackadaisical explanations on something just because I don't know if I feel like I can talk about it in more detail or feel like I I just don't have enough skin in the game for it, they feel like lazy explanations. I think most often though, it's actually ranking channels trying to add their own kind of style or humor with ongoing jokes that kind of differentiate their opinions from others and differenti differentiate their ranking videos from other ranking videos. And that's where it boils down to again that I think it's just their own opinion, their own style of video. So if you don't like it, then stop watching, just turn it off, go watch something that will give you joy. With every piece of content created in the world, the quality in which something was created at can change drastically from just one second to another. Again, I would just hammer home, if you don't like watching it or don't think their opinions are or explanations are quality enough, don't watch it. But getting back to that kind of artist point, it can be tough to watch a bunch of videos on people seemingly dunking on something you spent a ton of time and effort working on. And yeah, that sucks. It doesn't feel good. I'm obviously not in the exact same boat here, but I would be lying if I didn't say I searched up my name in discords or something to see what people feel about my opinion on something or what do you think about the content that I created? I am eager to know what people think about what I am producing. So yeah, if a ton of people were saying, this is the worst thing ever, this channel shouldn't exist, this is horrible, that like, that would suck to hear. But in the end, I feel like that sort of what comes with producing some form of art. When it comes to subjectivity of art, you are going to face criticism from all sides of the table. People that love it, people that hate it, and often I find a lot of people that are just in the middle. What I think is so interesting about the ranking videos is that they are so easily accessible. Let's say you are a popicon or like a cloud cage that wants to hear what people think about your track rather than just seeing streaming numbers or your kind of <laughs> uh, echo chamber of people in your own Discord or Twitter that will always say it's always good. You want to hear like genuine opinions or whatever other people think, then ranking videos are easily accessible, easy to find. Rather than searching through threads and threads of Discord and Twitter or YouTube comments, you can easily just look up ranking my new EP or ranking this past month of Monster Cat and well, what I want to see. And you can easily find those opinions. So I think that rankers are often the first line of fire when it comes to people not liking a certain song or a certain project or album or whatever, because a lot of them, if people don't like it en masse, they'll be the people that are on the front line saying they don't like it. It's just such a fascinating thing for me because Everyone is sharing their opinion all the time online. Again, whether it's Discord, Twitter, YouTube, whatever. Everyone's sharing their opinion often, especially in these communities of music, specifically EDM and Monster Cat. And I don't, I just don't see why the rankers are the ones that get all the flack. I, I genuinely don't fully understand why it's them that are hated so much on their opinions. It, it's something that I, I genuinely want to understand. If you're watching this and, and like really don't like these videos, I, I want to know in the comments, what about these videos you don't like? If you also don't like the same song, is it just the way they're going about producing the content? Is it the way about that they're that they're releasing their opinions? I, I genuinely am curious. 
So just like the artists though, in a similar vein, rankers are also content creators. They're also producing something that wasn't originally there before and can come under just as much scrutiny for their own opinions and or quality on what they're producing. It's just fascinating to me that these kind of ranking channels come under so much more heat from the community. And the topic of conversation number three, the sort of ranking community as a whole. This part of the video, I'm actually just straight up gonna be calling a bunch of you out. When I used to do the kind of classic ranking style videos, I think I did about 50, I think I have 53 in my playlist on YouTube of ranking style videos. I thought it was great. The community of rankers were super incredible. Not once did someone tell me that my opinion was invalid or I should delete my channel for thinking such ways. It was a very wholesome community to be a part of. All of the hate, and yes, I will use the strong word of hate here, came from the people outside of the ranking community saying that what they were doing is just stupid. Like, you, you don't need to do that. I don't understand people that actively are so against ranking channels. There is no reason to hate on a community of people having fun talking about music that they enjoy or don't enjoy. I, I, I genuinely don't understand. Like I said earlier, you have your own opinions on this too that you share on other forums and other social media platforms. You just don't do it in such a explicitly easily accessible format. So why are you hating on these specific people for their own opinion? I honestly truly believe that if you are actively telling rankers that they suck and that the community is cringe, you are fueling unnecessary hate towards what I experienced to be a very inviting community. Please stop, do better. A genuine question, what do these ranking channels have against you? If you actively dislike them, what are they doing to you that is harming you in any way? I, I believe it's nothing. They're just sharing their opinion and you're just blasting them for having those. So at this point in the video, it may seem like I'm taking a kind of hard stance on the ranking videos. I'm not really being unbiased here. I'm not really hearing both sides out. Well, that's because I, I am. When the quote unquote kind of other side where the people that are actively against these ranking channels are saying that these videos are cringe and that they should delete their channels, well, honestly, it sounds like you're giving a lazy review of ranking channels and that uh, I could use some more explanation on your thoughts, please. I very honestly been sifting through threads and threads of online discourse the past couple days on Twitter, on YouTube, on Discord, on everything seeing what people feel about rankers. And I know a lot of the people that I'm talking to in this video are on a far minority here. It's the, again, the vocal minority. There's the people that make the ranking videos, the people that are actively against the ranking videos, and sort of a lot of people in the middle that don't really care one way or another. But honestly, it's just sad to me to see so many people, or at least an active minority vocal group of people that are just so against these style of videos and these communities. Like it just, it makes me sad. I, I don't understand why. And it doesn't feel like they're giving good reasoning or an explanation why. It just feels like they're hating on the community for just being the community. Time and time again, I see people that hate these ranking videos yet they are always screenshotting them and they're always saying how stupid this opinion is. Look at how dumb this opinion is. Look how stupid this person said. Like, if you don't like it, stop going back to it. You are in a perpetual feedback loop stroking your own ego. Okay, that was a lot and a little heavy, but let's sort of just end on a sort of somewhat lighthearted note. Um, I'm gonna wrap this up by saying why I sort of stopped doing purely ranking videos. And that's because I just, I didn't want to anymore. I don't obviously hate ranking videos. I think the community is great. It's just uh, as someone that wanted to grow their content in a different way, I thought that ranking videos were just a tad oversaturated in the market, I would say, and I wanted to do something different. It's just as kind of simple as that. But please, if there's just one thing you can hear from this video, just one thing, honestly, it'll sound cheesy as hell but just love one another. Honestly, there isn't any reason to be so hateful all the time. In fact, being hateful literally takes time off of your life that is scientifically proven. The more hateful you, you are and towards things, the, the less likely you are to live longer. Um, so, you know, just we're all a part of one wider community of people that enjoy, that want to experience music all together, primarily the EDM music, Monster Cat music. And let's just try to be the best community we can be. How about that? Let's do it.